Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Have Beer, Zach. I'm Zach, and of course, sitting here enjoying a nice ice cold Miller Lite. It is a uh, late Friday night, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning. Just got off work a little bit ago. I uh, checked on our baby, and it is bubbling away. It is bubbling away. It looks really good. It it uh, it's got the exact color that I was uh, looking for. Uh, so that beer is going to be quite nice when it's done, I think. Um, I only had a couple of videos to get posted yesterday. Uh, I was doing stuff and, um, I thought I recorded a couple more, but, uh, I don't know what happened. I was drinking a little bit, so, uh, no worries. Anyways, about another, uh, 10, 14 days. We'll be enjoying a uh, nice uh, red ale. Um, my buddy Greg came over and uh, supervised. Uh, it was pretty nice. It was a nice visit. Uh, he brought me some some favorites from Wisconsin. He was just uh, back there for a little bit, and he did bring me back a couple of nice uh, nice things. Uh, so we'll get this Miller Light down the hatch, and we'll get into one of my favorite beers of all time. It's got about a halfy left of this. Uh, it's actually pretty warm tonight. Um, I want to say maybe a upper 80s somewhere. I didn't check the weather before I before I started filming here. Um. But still, nonetheless, it's really nice for this time of year here. Usually, by mid-June, we're in uh, 110s, 115s. Uh, I think our highest has only been like uh, low 90s, mid-90s. It's uh, unreal. I don't know what's going to happen, if it's going to stay this way. Eventually it'll it'll get hot, but what's that mean? How hot's it gonna get? Because usually when it's cool, it's gonna get ungodly hot later. I don't know. I guess we'll just wait and see. Maybe it'll just be a uh, maybe it'll just chill out for the rest of this year, and then that may might mean we might have a cold winter. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyways, hope everybody's having a great weekend, enjoying yourselves. But man, yesterday, Brew Dave, that was, uh, that was really nice. Everything went really well. Uh, the conversions from the starches to sugars uh, from the grain, unbelievable it was uh such a beautiful process and everything all the temperature breaks and the enzyme breaks everything turned out just the way it was supposed to and i mean brewing beer is not super difficult but you do have to have some some knowledge and stuff of what's going on you know with temperatures and and how how things work science man gotta love science uh, so anyways, I did, uh, take a hydrometer reading like I showed in yesterday's video and I, I marked it out, uh, from what, from what I can see, I'm going to come out with a 5.2%, uh, if it comes out the way it's supposed to, uh, which I think it does, it's going to be, uh, quite wonderful. So, um, anyways, got a swallow or two of this left. And we'll get on to the feature. Boy, that's good. Nothing beats Miller Lite. Except for this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I want to flip this around to show you guys. Nordy Spirit by Grain Belt. Oh, I love a Nordy. It is a American Amber Lager from Grain Belt. And it is wonderful. It is 
one of my favorite beers of all time. It's a true Midwest lager. Mm, it's you can visit greenbelt.com there. Uh, Greenbelts went through a couple of different breweries, I think, uh, before, but uh, now we got I guess Shell. Uh, they're in New Aldham, Minnesota, and uh, it's just a wonderful beer. So let's get this baby popped open. Let's see if we can one hand it. Well, uh, with the help of the other hand. But this Nordy's. Oh man, I love a Nordy. A huge shout out to my buddy Greg. He's also a subscriber here on the channel. Uh, brought me back one of my faves. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't even know he went. And huge shout out. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. You know, that's just so drinkable. Um, I don't even know what the ABV... Oh, it's 4.7% alcohol by volume. Um, but it's so smooth. You know how some ambers are a little sweet or a, are a little roasty? They taste burnt. But this, uh, this one, it's unbelievable. It really is. It just tastes so good. And it's smooth, and it's caramely. It's just so tasty. The 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 aftertaste, in the back of your mouth, is just a, a just a a beautiful slight caramel taste. This is just a wonderful beer, and uh, if anybody is in the Midwest. Uh, and you can, I think you can only get these in about five or six states, maybe, uh, that actually sell these in the store. So if you are one of the lucky ones to be able to get a Nordy, I suggest you do give it a shot. I bet it might become your favorite beer too. And of course... I can't get this here, so I, I resort to uh, the Miller Lite. But if I was uh, living back there, this is what I would drink all the time. And I did drink a lot of these when I lived up there. I lived in Wisconsin before. And uh, this was one of my faves. Oh, that is so beautiful. Hmm. And again, Greg, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys tune in for the next one. I got a couple more goodies coming up. And I think you guys are going to like them. So thanks. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, we'll catch you all on again on Let's Have a Beer with Zach.